Today we want to look at how to do conversions when we have something raised to a power. So we're going to look at 2.7 cubic inches and we want to know what that is in cubic feet. So it really doesn't look a whole lot different than what we did yesterday or in your previous class, but it still looks a little bit different with those threes up there. So if those threes weren't there, how would you do this? Well, you'd start with the given. We want to go two feet, so it goes on top. We want to come from inches. How many inches are in a foot? Well, there's 12 inches in one foot. Now, the other thing that's missing here is the cubes. So in order to get those, we need to cube everything we see in sight. So that will become 2.7 to the third inches cubed. And then over here we'll have 1 to the third feet cubed, 12 to the third and inches cubed. So you're going to put that in your handy dandy little calculator. So you're going to have 2.7 and then you'll press the Y to the X key with the 3 equals and you'll get the number. And then you'll put in 12 y to the x 3 and you get another number. And when you divide those two numbers you're going to get 0 0.01139 Now how many significant figures can you have in that answer? Well the given only has two so I'm going to need two significant figures so I'm going to get 0 0.011 cubic feet. Now what if I have something like 1.2 centimeters cubed and I want to go to yards cubed? Well we know to go between systems you're going to have to use that inches to centimeters. So let's say if we didn't have it cubed we'd want to go from centimeters to inches and then we have to go from inches to feet to yards. So if we set that up we have 1.2 centimeters 1.2 centimeters. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to have to go from centimeters to inches. And then I'm going to have to go from inches to feet. And then I have to go from feet to yards. So now how many inches are in a foot? Well there is one inch for every 2.54 centimeters. And in one foot there are 12 inches. And in one yard there are three feet. So again, these quantities are cubed, so we need to cube everything that we see to give us the following. If you don't want to write the cube around the ones, that's understandable and you don't have to. I do it just so that we show continuity. Okay, so now I actually multiplied all of these out so that you could check your answers, except for the first one, of course. I'm really bad about that. So 1.2 cubed centimeters cubed. And then we're going to have 1 inch cubed, and this becomes 16.387064 centimeters cubed. We have 1 foot cubed. And this is going to be 1728 inches cubed. And one cubic yard is going to be 27 cubic feet. When I do this calculation, I obtain 0. Point, and I'm going to have five zeros, two, two, six. Now, the original only had two significant figures. So my final answer can only have two significant figures. Should you want to write it in scientific notation, you may do that as well. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be a negative 6. And this is going to be in cubic yards. So either one of those answers would work for this problem.